on the mission planner software on the computer now connect the APM flight controller with USB port now the lights is blinking as you seen I am also giving the power from the battery for better programming now press the connect button on the mission planner so we do not connect it again press the connect button and then reconnect the, reconnect the USB port Then again press connect button. Now it's connected. Now go to the initial setup. Install firmware. Disconnect the APM. Now as you seen, many kinds of firmware are here. You have to download the a quadcopter firmware but I had already downloaded the firmware so I will load custom firmware and open it now it is reading the file uploading the file and the blue light is blinking on the APM light controller it means file is Firmware is uploading. Uploading. It is very fine in firmware. Now firmware is uploaded. Now click on the connect button. It's connected. Now go to the military hardware, then frame type, choose quad. Then go to Excel Calibration, Calibrate Excel, it is giving the commands, please place the vehicle on the label surface, then place the vehicle on the left side, then click the button, there is again give the commands. Place the vehicle on the right side. It means right side of your quadcopter. Follow the commands according to given according to the mission plan of software as it is given. And I'm also doing nose down. Then back. Now calibration successful. Now go to the compass calibration. Click on APM and external compass. I am using external compass so and then light calibration. 
rotate the quadcopter in all angles and to getting the points Now compass calibration is done, go to the radio calibration and click on calibrate radio. It first on any transmitter, then click on calibrate radio, then click on ok, again ok. Now move the stick in the extreme points all stick. Total, yeah, piece, rotor, and as you can see in the screen, it is displaying. In this way, all series should be extremely pushed. Done. Okay. And radio calibration is also complete. Now go to the fight mode and select off fight mode. I have selected fight mode one as a stabilize. Fourth is a altitude hole and five is the elevator mode and save. Then go to the fill set and I had uh, drawn 11 point if the battery is uh, less than 11.1 volt then the drone will be land then go to the compass and motor calibration and click on start then we have to uh, turn on the transmitter and a little bit push the uh, throttle then the motor can move in this way you can do the in this way ESC calibration is also completed no need to cal calibrate ESCs that's also done Click on finish. Then go to the configuration. Geofence. You have to disable the uh, geofence. You go to standard params, and you have to tick the barometer, compass, GPS parameters and this much others not if you take the all max then you the some problems are faced so you have to take only five downside order not now go to the battery monitor and choose the analog voltage and current then choose order then version is called to as you want and they input the voltage of the battery then uh, go to file data and as you see there is return gps no fix under house it cannot uh, so, uh, fix uh, so the gps gps no fix means uh, it is, gps is not connected with the satellite so for the uh, for the elevator mode and many other functions which which needs GPS are not work so it cannot arm because of the safety purpose. For getting a signal from the satellite, I will place the drone. 
near the window. Okay, as you seen the light is solid, it means GPS is connected to the satellite. Sometimes it breaks but not a problem. And as you look, the motor is spinning. And our drone is drone is armed. Okay, it's done. And if you connect the drone with a computer it will show 3d fix and you can also so, uh, see the location on the computer as you seen there is a return 3d fix and in the side also you can see the location now it's done our flight controller is made in this video i will show you the test of the drone okay thank you This is the circuit diagram of adding some sensors and LEDs and thanks for watching. Be happy.